Well, welcome back to the Lynx family to a Friday morning session. It's my distinct pleasure this particular Friday morning to have as a conversation partner, Dr. Ken Blanchard. Uh, needs no introduction, I'm sure. Uh, this follows on the hills of the previous two Fridays where we talked with Art Wiley Armstrong, the co-author with Dr. Blanchard of this book, The Mulligan, which is a forthcoming movie coming out April 18th and 19th. And Dr. Blanchard, I, I am familiar with your works, not all. I'm not sure anybody could say that, maybe other than yourself. You've written somewhere around 60 books, uh, many of them academic books, uh, leadership books. And then, of course, you're probably most famous for your popular book, The One Minute Manager, which is just, I think I read somewhere 15, 16 million sold, which is extraordinary. Uh, why this book? Why, why the mulligan? And then uh, inside that question, I, I was curious, just as I read the book and watched the movie, is there any particular character in this book that you identify with? Well, I tell you, uh, Dennis, the, uh, I met Wally Armstrong at a golf outing. And he was telling me he started a Mulligan Golf Club. And I said, Mulligan Golf Club, what's that about? He said, well, he said, we share the gospel because Jesus is the greatest Mulligan of all time. I said, we got to write a book about that. I mean, that's really special. So I went with him to Callaway Gardens for about three days, picked his brain and went out to California and, <laughs> and wrote the first draft of the, the book. And it was really kind of exciting because uh, to me, I never forget one of my idols was uh, Peter Drucker. And I think he was a kind of a German Jew in, New, in uh, Europe. And he became a big Christian. And I said to him, Peter, why did you become a Christian? He had this wonderful German accent. He says, Ken, there's no better deal. I said, what do you mean? He says, who else has grace? He <laughs> says, justice, you do something wrong. You pay the penalty uh, you deserve. Mercy. You do something wrong, you get less than you deserve. Grace, you do something wrong, somebody else takes the hit. He said, it's no, that's no profound. better thing. And, uh, and what's taking the hit? That's, that's a fact. And in golf, you know, of course, if you hit a bad shot off the first tick, they, ticks, they can say, take a mulligan, named after some guy years ago uh, on that. Take, take it again. And uh, so... Uh, what, what Wally got interested in is how can you really share that as a real way to, to share the gospel? And the character that I love in the book is the old pro. It's played by Pat Boone, you know, because he's got this uptight, uptight businessman, you know, who's lost his relationship with his wife and his kids. And, you know, it's all about work and all. And, and so uh, he's playing in this pro-am with Tom Lehman and Lehman sees when he breaks his putter over his knees and throws it in the thing when he misses a short putt that uh, golf and life are very much tied together. If you're having trouble out in the golf course and acting out, you probably got some problems in life. And so she said, he suggests you go see this old pro. He's 90 years old, but, but he's still sharp. And that's Pat Boone. And I'll never forget one day he, Paul goes down to see Boone uh, you know, the old pro. And he says, we're going to play a special game today. He said, you can take a mulligan on any shot you want. He said, I thought it was just for the first tee. He said, no, but today you can take a putt over, you chip over any shot. And, and uh, he said, well, I normally wouldn't like to play like this, but it sounds like it's going to be fun. So in the beginning, he takes a quite a few mulligans. And after a while, he hardly takes any mulligans and he shoots a 70. He's never broken 80 in his life. And he's sitting there with the old pro and the old pro said, to him, Paul, why do you think you played so well? He said, because I realized if I made a mistake, I would be forgiven. And he said, how would you like to be forgiven the, every day of your life? He said, God, I'd be great. What do I have to do? He said, it's uh, not about doing, it's believing. He said, in what? He said, in Jesus. He said, don't get, you know, religious with me. He said, no, but God sent Jesus down to play the perfect round, you know, 18 birdies. <laughs> you know, here's his scorecard, you know, sign it and he'll be ready to be your caddy. And some some of the religious people didn't like us talking about, you know, Jesus as a caddy, but what a wonderful version because he knows the course, he knows your abilities, and he's there to guide you around the course. I mean, and so uh, it's uh, just exciting. And, and Boone is a wonderful 
a Christian believer and, and just is so excited about this role. And I think this movie, and when, when you get to see it, they've done such a great job on it. The guy who did it, uh, Rick, uh, Rick uh, he did the Bobby Jones story and the ultimate gift and a whole bunch of wonderful films. And so I, I think it's gonna be a wonderful way to share the gospel because it changes Paul's life. And I make a cameo experience at the end. Man, you should have seen the outfit they put. I look like the Pope. Yeah. I, I remarried the couple at the end of the movie. So. Yeah, yeah. Our, our mutual friend, Derek, uh, let me take a sneak peek at the movie. And I, when I got towards the end, I saw you in your cameo. You, you know, missed your calling. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, listen, we, uh, we are very, very, very grateful that you took some time. I know you've got a, a busy life, a busy schedule, but just for me personally, thank you for the labor of love along with Wally to write such a, not, not just an entertaining book. I've, I've been giving this book away left, right, and center to friends and perfect strangers. I go to the range. I just pass them out to some of my buddies. And uh, I, I will tell you without exaggeration, I don't know exactly how many, but more than a few have come back to me within two days and said, I read it to cover to cover, or I read it in two nights. It was such a gripping book. And, and many of the people that read the book are people that don't profess Christ. So uh, just with you and Wally and Rick and everybody else that's involved, you know, I join my prayers with y'all to trust the Lord that he's going to use the book and the movie to reach thousands for Jesus. That's right. I think uh, so. And it's uh... Uh, because, uh, you know, Jesus is the great, it gives us the greatest mulligan of all time, and he's our caddy, and we need to call on him when we have a shot to take yeah. in life. Uh, that's, so that's what a great. wonderful way to think about Jesus. Well, thank you for being with us on this Friday, and to my Lynx family out there, I'm glad you're here. Our, to our guests, I'm glad you joined us. I hope the PDF Bible studies are meaningful for you and encourage you and edify you and hopefully inform you. So God bless. And uh, I'll see you next Friday. We actually have, God willing, we have Pat Boone uh, for our conversation partner. So see you next Friday. God bless. God bless.